Putting the cart before the horse is very dangerous, especially when it comes to our eternity. And that is why so many people out there, that is what they are doing. They are putting the cart before the horse. They are trying to justify themselves based on what they are doing. The Bible is very clear about what a person must do to be saved and what should I do after I am saved. Now, in the Word of God, in the book of Acts chapter 16, Philippian jailer asked Paul and Silas, what must I do to be saved? And he said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. I don't think there is a controversy or I mean, there is something in that passage that is so difficult to understand when it comes to what must I do to be saved. A lot of people today, especially the, the Bible theologians, the Bible educators, the Bible correctors, and the Bible uh, expositors, they want to tell us that, well, it is more than just believing. You have to do much more than that. But the Bible is very clear in the book of Romans chapter uh, 4, verse 5. The Bible says, To him that walketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly, his faith is counted unto him for righteousness. Now, there are so many people out there that say, well, faith is not enough. But the Bible says, To him that walketh not, but believeth on him that justifieth the ungodly. Ungodly is unable to save himself. He cannot help himself. But he believed on the Lord Jesus Christ and is justified in the sight of God. So what must I do to be saved is very important. That is salvation. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, what should I do after salvation is our service, which we will be rewarded for. And let me, I mean, let me explain this to you very clearly. I want to get this across to you. Because so many people today, they are confused. They do not know what to do. They do not know uh, what to believe. They are between, they are caught between law and grace. They are between works and faith. They are mixing everything together. You cannot go to heaven because you are a good person. You cannot go to heaven because you are a righteous person. You cannot go to heaven because you believe Jesus Christ and you had some things to it. You are justified in the sight of God because you put your faith in Christ alone. Apostle Paul uh, should have you know, told the Philippian jailer, hey, you need to believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and follow me and then you will be saved. He didn't say that to him. He said, believe on the Lord Jesus Christ and thou shalt be saved. Let me say this to you. If Christ cannot save us, there is no reason for him coming to die. If Christ cannot save us from the beginning to the end. There is no reason for him to die for our sins. Jesus died, he was buried, and on the third day, he rose again. And by trusting in him, you are saved. And that is when, after you are saved, after you have trusted Jesus Christ, that is when you do a reasonable service. A reasonable service is as a result of you yielding yourself to the law and being controlled by our Lord Jesus Christ. And that is why, he will begin a good work and is going to work through you. Works is, I mean, works are good, but our works cannot justify us before God because anyone can do, I mean, right works. Anyone can do good things. Anyone can be good to their neighbors, all right? But just because you do good does not mean that you are saved. Think about a man in the Bible, Colinus. The Bible says he was a, devote, a devoted man, one that feared God with all his house, and give much arms, but Colinus was a very lost man. What am I saying? Putting a cart before the horse is very dangerous. You need to put the horse before the cart, and that will make the road and the journey more smooth. If you think by combining Jesus Christ and your works, you can be saved, you will never get to heaven. Jesus Christ said, Come unto me, all you that labor and are heavy laden, I will give you rest. My yoke is easy and my burden is light. You see, religion wants to put a burden on you. But Jesus said, I'm here to set you free. If you believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, you will be free. One of my favorite verses in the Bible that I love to use is John chapter 8, verse 24. Jesus said unto them, 
ye shall die in your sins. If ye believe not that I'm he, ye shall die in your sin. He didn't say if you don't stop your sin. He didn't say if you don't follow me. He didn't say if you don't give your life for me. He didn't say, I mean, if you don't, if you are not my disciples. He didn't say, you know, uh, if, if, you, if you don't go to church. He said, if you do not believe on me, you will die in your sin. I'm saying this, salvation first, then service to God. There's a difference between what must I do to be saved and what should I do after I am saved. Thank you so much for watching this video on the simplicity of the gospel. I hope this has been a blessing to you. If you like this video, comment, let me hear your thoughts on this and the Lord bless you.